You know what? Maybe sometimes there's a reason you don't give certain wrestlers the microphone. I know we'll talk about, hey, this guy can't talk, this gal can't talk, or they need to talk. It would add to their presentation. But sometimes, maybe they're better just keeping their damn mouth shut, right? When they open their mouths, they tell the whole world who they are. And you start to not like what you hear. Look, I don't know if Gunther is legit stupid, or he's just acting like it, or he's just poorly informed and formulating really dumb opinions. I don't know what it is, right? But it's something. <laughs> and now maybe I'm finding out, especially as I hear him speak, I say, oh, that's why you don't want to give him the mic a bunch because I couldn't imagine having to listen to this fucking guy talk and pretend like that would draw me to actually watch one of his matches. Just saying. You know, it's one thing when he says about the... The Rock, he says, and I quote, I think he's the new Hulk Hogan. I think in terms of if you ask random people on the street in some random country, they will say The Rock and connect it with wrestling. And most famous, but I categorize him as a showman as well. Unquote. Okay. So, a lot of it makes sense what he's saying, right? Like, Rock has that type of mainstream household name appeal and recognition. So there's no question about it. That part's true. And maybe while I understand you're trying to push a gimmick because you're no longer Walter, you're no longer tapioca tits, you're trying to be taken seriously. You know, this whole, he's a showman. The fuck do you think professional wrestling is? It's a circus slash soap opera. It's about being a show. <laughs> the fuck? I categorize him as a showman as well. Look, if I was in professional wrestling and you called me a showman and I got the paycheck that was associated with being a showman like The Rock, like Hulk Hogan, then fucking sign me the hell up for that. I'd much rather be that than the Bret Hart. Shawn Michaels, worker class, not making seven figures a year. Fuck out of here. Who lets these dumb fucks into wrestling that lose sight of the fact that it is a business? It is a business about drawing money and making as much money as possible. Maybe wrestling went wrong over the years because the draw, the amount of money made, no longer mattered because of contracts with downside guarantees and the companies selling the brand over the individual talent, like, maybe it doesn't happen, but that's just dumb. Like, if he sits there and just says that about The Rock, in terms of he's got that type of mainstream household recognition, totally legit, accurate point. Classify him as a showman as well. Fuck off. Just dumb. I think I saw a clip of an interview he just did with uh, Chris Van Fleet talking about The Miz. Where I think he started off by saying, I can't remember one thing Miz did in his fucking career. Yeah, you know, like, main event WrestleMania? <laughs> Fuck, what the fuck is wrong with you? Did you not pay attention to the product? Do you not know your wrestling history? Or are you just a fucking knob? Like, literally. <laughs> like, Miz has talked about that shit for over a fucking decade. How the hell do you not know that? And again, you're probably going to sit there and hit me with the kayfabe and the work shit. Do any of these fucks even know how to do a work anymore? Do they really? Unbelievable. But the worst thing of all is what he said about the Ultimate Warrior. And look, Jim Helwig's been dead R.I.P. for over a, almost a decade now. And yes, I absolutely grew up a big Warrior fan back in the day. I'm not going to run away from that. I'm not going to hide away from that. Eight to ten year old me thought Ultimate Warrior was the fucking man. And there are a lot of other people in my age range that are just like me, whether they want to admit it or not. Just because he was a raging D-bag behind the scenes and as a person doesn't take away that fact. 
And while it is easy to rail on an Ultimate Warrior and talk shit about the type of guy and the lack of character he probably had as a person, you do have to somewhat separate that when you're talking about his wrestling legacy. And I also understand that Warrior is not for everyone. Certainly not. To me, as a little kid, he was a comic book character come to fucking life. Even if I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about most of the time. Even if most of his matches weren't good. Even if he was kind of a one-two trick pony. He still did those one-two tricks really damn well, no matter how much the WWE has tried to minimize him over the fucking years. So when he sits there and he's being shown a picture on whatever the hell loser-ass WWE show it is, and he's talking about those are the dark ages of WWE. Those are the dark ages, why? Because the WWF was doing, at the time, record business for the wrestling business ever? Because that was an era where you had multiple guys that were mainstream household names, they were inner fucking national. God, if those are the dark ages for any business, sign me the fuck up for that. Well, he was a showman. He wasn't good. All right, fine. Yeah, you don't have to like the warrior. You could not be a fan of warrior. That is fine. But to dismiss him as like a showman, like again, it speaks to how do these fucking idiots get into professional wrestling? It is about the show. It's not about your loser-ass chops that you do 40 times in a goddamn match because you can't do any fucking thing else, you moron. It's not because of how many moves or how many flips you can make happen. It's not about how much shit you don't sell. It's not about how you can top this. It's about putting on a show and getting the fans to come back and want more. And to look at Warrior for all the baggage that he has and all the bad things you can easily associate with him, and I certainly have to, right? Can't just pretend the good. There's been this weird thing over the years to try and completely and totally dismiss him. Like he wasn't a major factor. Like he wasn't a huge fucking star. Like he wasn't the guy to beat Hogan at WrestleMania 6 for a fucking reason. And to sit there and call that the Dark Ages? You know what the dark ages of WWE are? They're now, the past decade plus, as millions and millions of former wrestling fans took a look at the product and boring fucks like Gunther and said, click, click, click. And guess what? They never fucking come back. You can make up all the excuses that you want. More competition, cord cutting. That's loser fucking talk, period. The NFL can still do massive numbers, draw viewership numbers in some cases that they haven't drawn in decades, and yet, and yet, we've always got to hear the excuses about cord cutting and streaming and all this other bullshit. Fuck all that. If the wrestling business, if WWE gave people enough shit to actually care about, They're going to find a way to watch it live. When I think about the dark ages of wrestling, I think about right now because after 35 plus years of being a goddamn fan, I can't remember a time that I've watched less professional wrestling. If the dark ages is guys like Hogan and Warrior and Savage and Andre the Giant and the Million Dollar Man and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, and Jake the Snake Roberts, and JYD, the natural Butch Reed. If those are the fucking dark ages, then take me back in time and sign me up for that because whatever the fuck this is now, it ain't fucking it. It ain't fucking it. So I don't know if Gunther is legit stupid, just misinformed, he's trying to work and really not doing a good job of it, It's one of them, right? But you should hope and pray that you have as notable a career as Miz. You should hope that you could actually main event a WrestleMania someday. You could only hope to be anywhere close 
to being remembered on the same level as a Rock or a Hogan or an Ultimate Warrior. Knock on Hogan and Warrior for being the D-bag people that they have been. Absolutely. You're entitled to it. But to sit there and like talk about, oh, well, The Rock is all of this, but he's a showman. You wish you were that type of fucking showman. Oh, the Ultimate Warrior, those are the Dark Ages. Yeah, you know, like when the WWE was doing, WWF was doing massive business, right? Dark Ages. When you had millions of more people watching the WWF and professional wrestling as a whole. Those are the fucking Dark Ages! So whatever it is, I thought they should really just shut the hell up. <laughs>